Good morning and welcome to another vlog. We're at Peterborough. We've come from Leeds, um, well, York on this one. Uh, Cottingley, Leeds, York on Trans Pennine, and then this one to Peterborough. It's um, Thursday, Thursday the 12th of March, and we're going to go to March in March. That's what this video is really titled March in March. And uh, we'll just see this one go. And then we will head over to the correct platform, which I think will be something like platform six for the 1019 Stansted Airport service. So this is the new main platform at Peterborough now, which was reinstated a few years ago. Everything had to cross to the platforms over there originally. So it's next up King's Cross is this one now. Head over to platform. Uh, let's go this way. Right, coming down onto platform six. And look what's coming through here 66. Got the feather over there. Not sure where to go in, but. down here. Now our next train is up there now, Stansted Airport. First stop March. And uh, we'll get to March in March. One seventy one oh one. Right, here we go, leaving Peterborough. Go around to the right a bit, then curve left under the East Coast Main Line. of the Neen Valley westwards from here because obviously that goes the other way towards Arundel, Yarwell and whatever, Wandsford. So here we're dropping down now slightly, curve left and under the East Coast Main Line. It's the River Neen. Tickets over there, somewhere. Other side of the river um, last year, along where those trees are across there, the north bank. We walked all the way to uh, Whittlesey, which is about six and a half miles. So partially sunken barge there. Turbines here. I always wonder how much power they generate. <coughs> but, uh, graceful. There's a 
another one here, it's hardly moving. Right, we've lost where we were now, it's further over behind the turbines. Right, coming up to Whittlesey, the village is just up there, the town is just up there, whichever it is. Probably gets one every two hours. See if the crossing's modified yet, but it's still manual. shortly. Mm. I wonder what an acre would be with a tractor. Quite a lot larger than it would be with all some single plough. Mm. years ago on a Pathfinder tour. Beach line certainly isn't. And they brought the curve in now, not through the old platforms for Spalding, they brought it straight into the main line. It's been like this for quite a few years now. That's the east, that's the eastern side of the triangle. And it comes right in here now. It used to go through the old platforms over there. So this is March. I'm getting it off here now. Right, I just got off this train from uh, Peterborough, ultimately Birmingham New Street. There's a freight going through on the opposite side, but I uh, can't exactly see what that is, it's sort of gone. Right, there's a way off here now, and this is obviously what they put in when they took the original platforms for Spalding out of use. I have actually ridden a train through this platform here on the left. It's a shame they did this, but obviously PC rules and it's made it green tick. Yeah. Anyway, that's the train's head. You've got an hour here now, an hour, march in march for an hour. The Terminate trains here, but look of it with a crossover just down there. Right, March in March, tick. We have actually done the station before, but uh, this is the first time we've done it in March. March in the month of March. See what's, uh, see what's available. Is there a, oh, March browser, no. 
Mm, oh, it's a level crossing down here. Let's have, a, let's have a wander over that. We'll have a wander into town because I say we've got an hour, possibly an hour and a half if we get the Ipswich train next, which will stop at Nanny by request, I think. But we, the last time we were here, we did it. We walked it to Maney for the uh, one of the two very rare trains that stopped there, the evening one. Now it's every two hours. I can see the access point information. Only 40 miles an hour. I thought it would have been faster than that. Doesn't say which is up or down, will it? I would have said up is this way, the way we're facing now, but I might be wrong. March East Junction, it's silhouetting almost here, it's that bright big box. Nice, good yard here, isn't there? There's the station. Oh, the crossover's obviously for the uh, Wisbeach line, Whitemoor Yard. Because obviously it goes, by, platform two is bi-directional, a little bit like Guide Bridge. And uh, you see the box a bit better there now, it's high up is that, isn't it? And obviously here's the yard. So we're going down there in about an hour. And then uh, towards it to uh, Ely for Kings Lynn. Right, station hotel. Looks nice. Right, this looks like the town centre of March which we didn't do last time. It's 2007, last time we were here. Well, in March, as in walking over to Maine. So, there's a weather spoons a little bit further down here, so I'm tempted to go and have a little bit of breakfast. Station Road, I just walk down. Oh, wind's a bit breezy. That's the main street. It's all got spoons. It's called the Hippodrome or something. I've right, just been in there, weather spoons for Eggs Benedict. A bit of mid morning breakfast. So let's head down the main street now in March. In March. And uh, see what there is to see. There's a Greg. I'll get a cup of tea at Greg's a bit later. Let's have a look down here. Sun's a bit, uh, a bit strong. We'll get the next one at 11 th uh, 11.34 from March on to Ely. See if we can do that five, six minute change. If we fail to do, I might slip on the Cambridge. Wiz Beach till later. Look at that. That's fantastic, isn't it? That? Nice uh, war memorial decorated with poppies. Excellent. Cambridge is very nice, isn't it? It really is. Oh, is there a river? That's a canal. Or is it a canalised river? Some boats down there. I'll have a look at the other side shortly. Old 
Griffin Hotel. Looks pretty good. Mark Marketplace. No market today, evidently. The Exchange, there's like a clock tower. This is not a bad little place in March. That clock tower thing there, and that building's 1900. It's 120 years old this year. Right, we do need to be making our way back to the station pretty soon. Oh, look at that old post box, GR, for George. That's very old, is that? We're facing a better sort of direction now because uh, we've uh, the sun's behind us. <coughs> Says the uh, river or whatever it is, canal, and uh, whatever. We haven't really got time to walk any distance down there though now unfortunately. I'll have to just head straight back to the station. But it's been it's been nice, it's been brief. Just have about an hour. Right, level crossing's just gone down. So our train is not very far away. Let's uh, get onto the station this way and go over the footbridge. We've still got about four minutes. Unless of course there's a westbound train. There's always that possibility. Yeah there is. Just coming in now. We don't want that one. Yeah, a couple of cherry trees here, aren't they? I wonder if the cherries will be fit to eat. Yes it has, so it's okay. This is not our train, opposite side. And there's actually a, a coffee bar here. Anyway, we're all right for coffee and tea. Booking office as well. So, let's go over to the other side. We've got a yellow down there. How are we doing? Good. Good. Going to the, the uh... Right. Let's get to platform two. And we'll think it will be platform two. platform two. The footbridge is still intact to the other side as well. Right over to the far side. A very old-fashioned style footbridge does this. <coughs> and then looking at east, that's where we're going to go. Down that way. So yeah, like it says, no customer access, but it is usable. It's locked at the moment. You can get onto that far side if needs be. emergency. Right. Right, this is our next train now. Another three car set on Birmingham New Street Stansted Airport. Details on screen of course. I always wonder if you could have a look round the opposite side but you can't. So I'll go one stop to Ely and then hopefully make that quick connection. If not, we'll go to Cambridge to kill time. Right, we've done it. 
right, so March in March. Brilliant. Job done. Okay, finally. Right, we're just leaving March now. And uh, we're sat on the right this time. So when it gets to Maney, we'll see if that uh, old wagon is still uh, buried in growth. Undergrowth. So this is March Yard. Curves round to the right now. It's another level crossing. Now this is the level crossing we walked across back in 2007. We went towards Maney. filming again now and we're approaching Maney so we'll see if that wagon is still there like a guards van I think it was actually Maney there's the crossing and where's the wagon it's somewhere up here buried yep it's still there it's still there right just look at this this is the there's a river somewhere in there it's like the Everglades here, isn't it? Now this is just unbelievable. Just look at this. So we're actually on the bit between the two rivers, which I'll just show you on it on the map there. That's where we are between those two. It's all marsh and boggy around here. The railway is actually raised so that it doesn't flood the railway. So there's another big river which is called the Bedford Oh, 100 foot drain, New Bedford River, 100 foot drain, which is just a bit further up. It's the same on both sides pretty much. Right across there. The ducks are loving this. The ducks. The down here, we'd have to swim for it now. This is another bridge just across here now. So this is actually the bridge, there's a another bridge over a road as well as a canal, or whatever it is. Boat, is it? Text message, check that in a minute. Go to bridge. There's actually a bit of a hump in the railway here, not that you can really detect it. Right here, yeah, this is Ely. Loop. If you go in Kingsland or Thetford, Norwich, whatever, you can miss out Ely by going around there. There's the Kingsland line up there. Further over is the uh, Breckland line to Norwich, Thetford, and all that. So we're not very far away now. Just about that five or six minutes. Still a train in the platform at the Ely. Anyway. And now this is the other end of the Ely loop, Ely curve, which is there. We could technically go straight round and back. There was a loop to Peterborough they're using that. See a lot of boats shortly as we approach Ely. Not sure which side they're on actually, but. Some find out. You can see Ely Cathedral now over there in the distance. Thank you. Should we get Grandma a call and tell her we can eat to Ely? Yeah, we'll just talk to Grandma as well. Right, this is Ely now. You can see the boats and whatever. Marina. That's the Liverpool train just going out now, so Kingsland will be coming in very shortly. The cathedral. So I think we're going to go for this quick connection. Right, just got off this train now. Let's head straight down and underneath for the King's Lynn train. Oh, this is easy. I know we didn't need to really run, but. We have done. Right, here we are, King's Lynn train. So we've got two stops to Down and Market. Just like a Thameslink service is this, isn't it? You know, we'll walk northwards, it'll give us a couple of a few extra minutes. 
Right, off we go again. That was a very quick change at Ely. Quicker than a reversal, I'd say. And they have got rid of this level crossing now. The underpass is still there, but this level crossing's out of use. How ridiculous can you get? Past the boats again. And the cathedral's just across there. This is Little Port. We've been here before. About 11 years ago, I think it was. We walked over to Shippy Hill. Oh. Extend the platform. The fence is in great northern colours, isn't it? Purple. Or claret, if you want to be more specific, I think it is. We're only going slow because we've not got the road onto the single line yet. Welcome aboard this service to Kings Lynn. The next station is Downham Market. Right, so we've made it to Downham Market. Another tick. So we're going to walk on to Wocklington now since it's such a nice day. We've got a permit to travel. Oh, you can't get one from here. Old sign there. Anyway, this is our train here heading off to Kings Lynn. We'll get the next one in two hours, hopefully at Watlington. Just one stop into Kings Lynn. I was going to go past and walk it back here, but that would give us less time, so... Without any further messing about now, let's get View Ranger started up and have a walk. Right, this is looking south where we just come from. You can just see go down a single track there now. And that's looking north. It's double track as far as Watlington. So, anyway, let's crack on and we'll walk it to uh, Watlington. Right, we're still in the suburbs of Downham Market, a residential area. Uh, so we'll be heading out into the sticks shortly. I just thought I'd film this path. It's only a few hundred yards. Say a path you could get a car down here. And you'd need to do it if you lived there. You would. just there. Looks like the kids are going in just after a break. Right, we're on the main road now, out of down in Market. That bus was a 37, heading for Kings Lynn. <coughs> Can't imagine it running much more than every half hour at best. how often it does run. Yeah, it's just every hour. Right, let's crack on. Recreation ground here, look at it. Cricket, football, whatever. Right, it's not the path I intended you was in, but anyway, it's going the right general direction, so we'll keep going. quite clearly defined. A bit wet earlier. Anyway, between these two trees. See if it brings us to some kind of sanity. Looks like it will. There's a lot of houses ahead. Don't want my Essex getting any dirtier than needs be. It's a bit windy, not excessive, but a bit. 
nice house just there. Now why am I thinking of Tother Manor Bone looking at that house? It's very similar, Grantly. Right, just coming up to the village of Wimbledon now, if I've said that right, down that way. It's a nice quaint little church just up there, we haven't got time to go back really. <coughs> right, we're coming up to the village of Stowbridge, where there's a left turn which will cross the railway, but we don't want to take that. We don't. I know I want to be on the downside for Kings Lynn, but uh, we'll wait to get me further up. We're about halfway now, I'd say anyway, maybe a good halfway to Watlington. Done pretty well, I think. So yeah, this is Stowbridge. So it's going straight through here. And then uh, to Watlington. So that's their wagon. I thought it was a... You'll see in a minute. Yeah. I have. Right, we're approaching the level crossing here now. And it's just gone. I didn't see the yellow lights though, but there's a train due, a northbound train. Kings Cross, Kings Lynn, it'll be, I would think. Next year. Old style lights. Yes, I strongly think there was a station here years ago, judging by that building. It does look a bit railway fied. track section anyway. Here we are. Look how high the pantograph is because of the crossing. I shall go straight up because there's nothing, not, no southbound train. Yeah. Right, we want to be on one an hour behind that. So let's turn right now here and walk alongside the the Grey Toos River, I think it is. I think it's the Grey Toos River. Not swimming. We haven't got time to swim. And we haven't got a towel either, so... It's quite a substantial bridge, is this? Definitely is. It's not too bad. So there's the bridge. There's the level crossing we just saw earlier. Right, on to Wappington. Right, this river is actually not the Great Ooze, it's the Great Ooze Relief Channel. The Great Ouse River itself is over the side of that home park bank on the far side. They run virtually parallel for some distance. Anyway, we want to keep going up here now until we get to that uh, bridge. And we'll bear over to the right to Watlington and then it's job done. Time and 
been warm enough, I would have had a swim. So, time and temperature are against us. It might be nice and bright, but it's still March. Right, that bridge up ahead is what we're heading for. It does look like there's a good chance you'll build a We'll see in a few minutes or so and get right to it. That's missing on the opposite side of the river itself. Right, we're almost here. That's the bridge. So whether we'll be able to get on it or not. Maybe it isn't fenced off. It wasn't really across the other side. <coughs> Let's see if we can find somewhere to get up. underneath you might see. Right. That should easily be doable. Right, let's get up here. Figure of eight now, or spiral, whatever. I'm able to walk down the trap bed the other way or not, but it went down, you see. Watlington's over there. It's not very far. Right, come on quickly. Over here. Mag Dillon Disuse Railway Bridge. You know, I was just wondering if it might be jumpable in better weather. People walk across here. They are pretty good. Well, let's walk up to the other bridge now. I must admit, if we do miss it, we'll have to just have another hour. A bit of chillax time in Watlington. All you do is walk up that other bridge now, turn right, and we're there. Little church over there, can you hear church bells? Right, we're going to cross this bridge back over to the east side of the river, our relief river, and then to Watlington, which isn't very far away now, it's about half a mile. Just 
carrying that sound this way. Our train is currently on time, so. Time to waste. So, saying this river's navigable, we've not seen any boats, have we? Stopped. Time for a break. Yeah, well, we'll have a break in Kingsley and we will. We'll have at least an hour, perhaps two, but we'll see. Never been to King's Lynn before. And off the train that is. We went on there when they did that Crompton pedigree, which did the uh, Middleton Towers line. Can't do that today, of course. It being a freight line. Right. Obviously it carries on. It's a jetty look. No swimming. Yeah, it's the ideal spot for swimming. Yeah. No current as such, is there? Where does it come out? I would imagine it'll come out at the wash. But, uh, I'm sure other than that. I would love to jump in. I really would. But uh, time and temperature are against us. It's looking south, we're just thinking to see the railway bridge in the distance. It's almost silhouetting because of the brightness. Right. Let's get to Watlington. Right, we're on the final approach now. So. Sixteen foot six safe height. Don't think it'll go just yet. Car packs quite a lot of cars in it. Obviously a lot of people park here and go to London, won't they? To the cross. Right, we'll stop the engine in a minute. Afternoon. Hi. Oh, finally. We're here. Well, Watlington. Oh, where's the platform? Oh, it's down there. Staggered platforms. Hello. Right, this is our next train now, this one to Kings Lynn. So it's just one stop to Kings Lynn and then we'll have a break for lunch. Then we'll decide what we're going to do a bit later than whatever. Not 
fully decided. So it's 3 8 to 7, 103 to Kingsland. So if we're going to get on near the front, we'll be near the front getting off at Kingsland. Is right, we're on the move again. So we just left Watlington, so that is another tick. The village is down that way somewhere. Anyway, let's get back now onto the single line section ahead and uh, on to Kings Lynn, the end of the line. I'd love to do this in the 80s, loco haulage, unelectrified. In here. There's, a, yeah, there's a spad indicator Welcome there, I thought there would have been. Service to Kings The next station is Kings Right, we're not very far off Kings now, end of the line. So I'll walk around here and something to eat. On the other side now, you'll see the uh, Kings uh, the Kings to Middleton Towers line. You can't actually get into the station from the freight branch. At least you couldn't. Whether you can now remains to be seen. But uh, you couldn't when we did that Crompton Pedigree tour. Oh, was old signal now. The old telephone. So yeah, that's the line that goes down to Middleton Towers. It's not electrified, of course. We are now approaching Kings Lynn, our final destination. Please ensure that you take all... Maritime. Nice liveries, then. No, we should be coming to Platform 1. So platform 1 is like the preferred platform. He's the Morrisons. Wow. Long way from Bradford here, aren't we? Some old signs here. Look at that. Kingsley British Railways. Wow. Kings Lynn, just made it. So, let's exit. <laughs> Gates are all open. Right, Kings Lynn, tick. Was it? Uh, yeah, I got the unit there. Right, let's head into town. Oh my word, everything seems to be a bit obsessed with British Railways here, doesn't it? Let's have a look at Platform 2. Is that? Yeah. Oh, it's a platform out of use, I think is this. Yeah, use 1 and 2. It could be Platform 3 if it ever gets ever needed. Interesting. I wonder why they don't use this platform. Right, we just walked through the bus station and uh, heading into the centre of town, Kings Lynn. So, uh, oh my word, look. Oh, we've got to go in there, haven't we? SD. Definitely. SD is a very much ubiquitous common to be found everywhere. Let's see what we can have a look in here. Maybe buy some. Right, now then, we've just 
exited SD. One or two things I fancy, but not in my size. Right, uh, I think we'll pass on the burger bar, but this cafe roster looks pretty good. Let's uh, see what's what. Seems we've never. Oh, welcome to King's Lynn. Hmm, I think I might have a bit longer here actually, it's got 16.44, but uh, we shall see. Let's, oh, the lasagna, that's a good sign. <coughs> oh, yeah, right, let's go in here. Anywhere you'd like me to sit? Anywhere we like, right. Right now, sweat. Cheers. Sit, sit uh, here. Right, let's walk down from that calf down there, which was reasonable. A bit sort of canteen style, but anyway, not bad. <coughs> so, it's a pity I've got a bit more time here, but anyway. Uh, that was, that was a bit interesting. There is a water feature here, and somebody's chucked a pallet in. So, uh, there's some kind of a, a sluice or whatever it is called. Let's have a look at that statue. I was hoping to get 1544, but whether we'll be able to do that, because there's still a few hundred yards from the station. Probably won't be coming here again for a while. I just wish the clocks had gone forward already. So at the end of the month, maybe the beginning of March would be better. <coughs> Floodgates, that look of it. Captain George Vancouver. Read that if you want. Just pause it and read it if you like. Is it solid or hollow? No, not hollow, I think. Look on the uh, water's edge. See if there's any ships knocking about. Because isn't this the start of the wash here? What's called the wash? And it curves round to the top side of East Anglia. Get 1644 from Kings Lynn to uh, Cambridge then we'll go back across through Foxton and hope we're doing a little short walk which will take a bit longer overdoing well, longer than be a mile or so on that walk so yeah, that's, I hope it'll still be light enough to do that so it gets dark by about 6, doesn't it? 6 to half past
never been to King Lynn before, so apart from we did that rail tour, and of course we didn't actually get off because we couldn't think we'd do it at the station, did it? I wonder where boat trips go from. So from here. They do boat trips. <coughs> looking, the, looking at this jetty, it looks like there's some boat trips that come somewhere. We've only got about a minute or so of battery power now, which is going to be a little. Let's go down to the, the iPhone again. These damn things, aren't they? Anyway, let's head towards the town now. Floodgates. Right, I thought I'd just come and have a look at this church. Because this is magnificent. Looks a little weathered. Most things do at some significant age. Kingsland Minster, that's what it is. Open. Visitors welcome. Still just happened. Right, we're just having a look, a brief look now, at the Middleton Towers line. The old route to Swaffham from Kings Lynn, which is down this way. Now, the battery on here, on the camcorder, is pretty low. It's not flashing yet, but it's not far off, so it will probably have to switch over to using the iPhone again. I was really hoping to get a new battery at the NEC, but anyway... This is nice here, isn't it? Look at that over there. Sun's very low now. Yeah. Right, this is the Middleton Towers line now. That's looking towards King's Lynn and that's looking towards Swaffham and Middleton Towers. It's got a good shine on it. It's obviously used quite a lot. It is. That's where I just come. Right down here, left and back to the train station. Right, we made it back to the station just in time to get this train. 16.44. Without the iPhone now because the camera cord has packed up. So let's get on it. Right, leaving King's Lynn. Heading back to Wackhope now, ultimately. So we're on this side where you'll see the uh, sit line. A bit more easily this time, the Middleton Towers line. You can't actually get from it from the station, which is a bit of a, a bit of awkward. Welcome aboard this service to London King's Cross. The next station is Watlington. So there's the yard again with that maritime 66. So you can only get down the branch. Obviously years ago you would have been able to get from the... Uh, what is it down there of course? As you see the track we're on now, there's no actual physical connection where it goes off to the left there. So that's the Middleton Towers line, there's no wire on it as you can see. It's not wired. Back to Downham Market now. Just about to leave the cross one on the opposite side of this double track section on this occasion now, so <coughs> I shall 
get straight onto the single line, which we've got the road to, and then obviously pass over the one at Littleport. That's where I walked up that way. And uh, yeah. quite a long walk that was, seven and a half miles in just about two hours to the pitch line. Now there, we're not far off easily. Stop here, this one down here. Now, why is that here? I wonder. That's a great western stop. It's a city 125 power car. Right, we're on the wrong side to see the curve, which is somewhere over there. Yeah. That's a good uh, curve, it goes around misses out easily. Got quite a good shine on it. It's like the Ely Everglades here, doesn't it? There's a lot of water on the ground. side which is where the local service to Foxton and Shepherd and all that will go for a moment I think. There's a new Greater Anglia service here which I imagine is probably going to go to Ipswich via by Dullingham Newmarket. So let's have a look at that. I've been on one of these yet. We can't go anywhere next obviously we're heading south but uh, we'll have a look at it. This train here is actually not that bad. It's better than some. It's still not as good as others. Looks like there's some kind of mini diesel engine in the middle here because obviously it's not electric. Oh, there is a pantograph on it actually, another bi mode. It's got a diesel generator or something in the middle there. Interesting. And it's got a panto. Fancy train, eh? Where's the first class? Is that? Is there any? Oh, it might all be standard. <coughs> yeah, it looks like it's all standard. There's no first class. There's a freight train coming through here now. <laughs> Scissors, scissors crossing just here and the little bit on the right that misses the platform completely is very rare and I have actually done that on a rail tour but uh, it's not crossing it's a bit straight down the platform Seven local service on platform two. We will be calling at Foxton, Shepherd, Mildred, Royston, 
that's not good enough. I'm going to have to um, ship it and walk it back to Foxton. That is very convenient. I bet it's quite heavily well used, though, because it, look, it looks it. This train terminates at... Right, Shepherds. Another tick. Walk back to Foxton now. Here we are. Check the name. Shepherd. We've not been here before. towards Cambridge. So looks like they're every hour. So we'll probably get um, 1938 will be the uh, oh they're every half an hour I think. Alright, right, let's um, head out to the station. Come on, right farmyardy smell here didn't they? It's, it's really dropping dark now. It's start view right, the village of Barrington now between Shepworth and uh, Foxton in the glorious county of Cambridgeshire. At least I think it's Cambridgeshire. So, yeah, that is tempting. So I might come back there, we'll see. I want to have a look at this freight branch now. Then we'll decide what we're gonna do after that. Right, level crossing. There's no signs or anything. No lights, rather. There's just a sign, and this is it here. Let's see what's left of it. It's a bit lighter than I expected, actually. Actually, it's darker looking with my own eyes than the camera. Oh, there's some gates on it, yeah. Keep crossing clear. I don't think there's been a train up here for some time. Stop when light show crossing, but obviously it's not going. There is a gate as well. This is looking towards the main line. There's even a light up there, look. So, yeah, I'll get the photos off Google Earth. You can see there. Look at the amount of grit and muck that's in the flange. There's nothing been down here for ages. You can see, you can't down there much. Anyway, let's get on to Foxton Station now and get the next train. It's just round to the right, we should be there then. So yeah. Yeah look, as if they could be used again fairly easily. It does. Right. This is an old level crossing. That looks a bit just a foot crossing now. The main crossing is just there. So I don't think we'll be able to get a cars the same coming. It is. Bound express to the other side. Right, 
Right, let's get across. That was easy. Oh, that was a bit of a near do. Very busy line. Right, better stop view ranger. So then get on the train. So this is another tick, Foxton. Here we are. I'll stop it when I get in on the train. Probably done set off too quickly. It's a minute or so late actually, but anyway. I'll check where we're going shortly. Once we get on, we get the road. Only a yellow, but it's enough to keep us going. Actually, is this a train? It is, yeah. I thought it was a freight then for a minute. King's Cross. Yeah, we're going as far as either Hitchin or Stevenage, so we'll soon find out. Station is right, Meldrith. Yeah, it's all Shack Stevenage, and then it's limited stop service at the King's Cross. So we'll end the video here now. Uh, Stevenage on this one, and then Leeds and over back to Cotting. Okay, if they make a zero minute connection at Leeds, we'll see. Right, I know we just finished the video officially a bit sooner. But, uh, Foxton and all that on Melbourne, whatever it's anyway, zero minute connection at Leeds. And we've done it, I feel ace spot on. Anyway, cuttingly and that's all.